first of all, uh, first season as co-chairman and things are going pretty well on the pitch. At the time of recording, we're third in the league, so how pleased are you with how everything's going in that respect? Very good on the pitch. Uh, Johnny and his management team are doing a great job. Uh, at the start of the season, we said we want to be in the playoffs at the end of the season. We're on course for that, you know. Sitting third, games in hand, so two games at home, sat and, sat and Wednesday, sorry. So things are going great on the pitch. And you kind of felt what we've done so far. Um, the lads has been great. It's getting towards that end of season now where there isn't cliche, but there isn't any easy games. The teams at the bottom are fighting to stay up and the other t- the teams at the top are pushing for a promotion spot or the automatic promotion. So it's going to be a good one. And John McDonald's already been here for a few years, but first season as manager, and uh, I'm guessing again, you must be pretty pleased with the way he's doing, and uh, the recruitment as well over the summer was excellent. I think we, John, he's just got it got it right from day one. I think um, there's been a buzz about the players, the, the players, the atmosphere within the squad. Everyone seems to be fighting for each other. Lads, he's brought in have been top notch. Everything's been everything's been great. Can't fault it. And uh, moving away from sort of on the pitch performances, one of the main talking points this season has been uh, the pitch and we've had like, a lot of postponements, a lot of it down to the weather and there's been a lot of work going on behind the scenes uh, to try and get the pitch back up to scratch, so can you just tell us a little bit more about that? Yeah, day to day there's been a hell of a lot of graft being put on and the pitch trying to get games on. I think we've got, off the top of my head, I think we've got 22 committee men volunteers at this club so and I kind of felt them have been unbelievable every day and it gets you down but the weather that we've had I've been here 27 years I've never seen weather like this not just our club every club in the North East must be a massive struggle uh, to get games on it doesn't help when we're getting a bit of pressure from up above as well you know at least I see about that the better but uh, we've just got to get our heads down and try and get games on yeah I just think that there isn't any team no matter what condition the pitch is could have coped with the weather that we've had for probably now the last four months. It's just impossible to, to actually to cope. And what, what the knock on of that is, is we, if we're getting games postponed on a Saturday, we've got to play the midweek. So our revenue is decreasing. We're not getting as many people through the gate as a midweek as what we do on a Saturday. The way support isn't as great because you've got distances to travel to get up here. And it's just got a knock-on effect. Nobody said it would be easy, but I didn't think that M um, would appreciate how tough it's been. Everyone knows what happened early on in the season um, in the gated game, and then since then it's just been one one thing after another. So it has been tough. I mean, it showed kind of like the spirit around the place as well. That's everyone's pulling together. Um, like you say, committee members down here every day of the week, grafting, getting the pitch sorted. Uh, so it's really got atmosphere around the place at the moment. Yeah, it is, and I think it uh, comes from the team as well. When I say the team done well and get results, it just gives everyone a bit of a spark, you know. Uh, but this club's got a well-known committee throughout the leagues and stuff like that. Like every other club's got the people who have been at the club 30, 40 years, you know, some of them, and uh, and they've still got so much enthusiasm for the club, which is great to see. And when we are getting games on, the attendances have took a little bit of a boost this season. So, like last season, we were averaging sort of just over 220. Uh, this season, so far, just under 300. And when you consider we played one game at home at concert as well, that's a good boost. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Like you say, the, the, well, the better you play, automatically you're probably going to get more people come to come to watch just for the interest. And we're right up there at the, at the top of the league. And no matter what the pitches are like, we'll play some brilliant football. Again, that's credit to John and the management team. And do you think there's any sort of next steps in terms of trying to get that attendance on average of above 300 going forwards? If games are on, if that wet stuff stops from coming up above, uh, I'm sure attendances will rise, you know, and it's a, good, it's a good place to come and watch a game of football, you know. I keep saying that the weather has been a killer for every club in the North East this, this season, you know. Hopefully that's the end of it now, and we'll move on. Well, over this season as well, we've been sort of building relationships with local schools, seeing a lot of like uh, young kids from, from local schools coming into the games with like free season tickets to be handed out at the start of the season. How important is that, getting them through the door in terms of building the next generation of supporter for the club? 
Yeah, it's very important uh, seeing the young kids coming in and buying merchandise and having the club's colours on. Uh, it would be great to see, and I'm sure they enjoy it as well. You know, you see them coming in the clubhouse. And but if you've got a winning team, I think it's just a snowball effect. You know, good to see. And uh, as well, charity work as well. A lot of charity work done around the club at the moment. Um, book of collections being one of the main things. Again, bringing in younger supporters to the club, introducing them. Yeah, everyone seems to have a good time when they come along, and the kids are the like the next generation, the future of the club, really. I mean, if, if, like I say, it's great to see them when the mascots uh, come off the pitch, the buzz and the kids, they uh, really love it, really enjoy it, and players are great with them as well, which is good. They want if supporters, sponsors or anything, if you buy anything in the beard cabin, if you get anything in the club shop, everything that, every profit, penny of profit that we get is pumping back in the club, it's helping to pay for the players, it'll get a better pedigree of player, the more people who come to watch. Everything, it's, it's a non-profit club that we've got. Everything that we make is going back into the team to get the best possible team on the pitch that we can. And uh, coming down to the final stages of the season, so we've got 15 games left, so including the one tomorrow against Pontefract. Exciting times ahead? It is. Uh, it's the uh, proper end of the season now, but uh, two other holes are nerve the most, you know. And John, Johnny's management team's got a great squad together. Uh, keep everyone fit, that's going to be the the tall order from now to the end of the season, games are going to, going to be coming thick and fast, but I'm sure they're going to be good enough to be up there at the end of the season. Like I said at the start of the interview, we want to be in the playoffs, that was the aim. And if we are at the end of the season, great, and uh, we'll look forward to them, but there's a long way to go yet. And when we did do the last uh, interview, we well, were saying, like, where would you see you know, the season going in, in, and so on and so forth. And I said that with just the... Um, I think it was um, a bus stop and gate in was the phrase I used and uh, I've probably really underestimated like the how good the team is, how good the facilities are. So we've had a full season having a look at, you know, what so called bigger clubs or bigger named clubs are on the league and we're more than a match for them on the pitch, definitely a match for them on the pitch, and the facilities we have are second to none. Well we're right up there. So it was probably a bit of an insult saying that the bus stop and gate it because uh, I believe that we can, well we're doing well in this league and I think we can do okay in the league above and all.